G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, I'm playing with some new camera settings. So, for those regulars that are watching, and if you're watching it on the TV, let me know if you can actually tell the difference in the video, because it's going to chew up a lot more battery, a lot more data, but I think it will be worth it, because I'm not using my camera to its full potential. And um, if you've uh, hit the search function and come to this video, um, to learn about what I'm about to do. I hope this video really helps you and um, for those who don't know I've actually got a quite a large stereo in my car. I'm running three amplifiers um, and basically one of my amplifiers is playing up. One channel cuts in and out. Now it, it cuts out when the amp is cold and when the amp heats up it actually starts coming back, the speaker starts working. Alright, so the first problem I've got is the amp location. The one we need to work on is under this seat. There's an amp under that seat, and there's actually an amp in the back. Um, so this one runs my front speakers, that one runs one sub, and the one in the back runs the other sub. Um, the reason they're up here, well I'm actually not sure why I put them under the seats. It's quite a long time ago. I don't regret it, but I probably wouldn't do it again. Um, excuse how dirty the car is. It is a four-wheel drive. I treat it like a four-wheel drive. And when we lift these seats out, it's going to be filthy. Alright, so I ended up vacuuming the car out. It was actually too embarrassing to even show it on camera. It was literally trashed. It was like, imagine four years of four-wheel driving. Uh, who am I kidding? I don't go four-wheel driving that much, but... Anyway, so now... I just gotta undo all these. Now... I haven't disconnected the battery, guys. So... That power cable there... This one is live, so basically I want to get that sitting nice and carpety. Um, I really need to rewire this too. I want to delete the capacitor. That's a 10 farad capacitor. Anybody who knows anything about them, um, it's pretty much just a waste of time. I've got like an 800, uh, is it MS? 800 MS crank battery I think it might be MS if I if it's not MS you guys let me know in the comments um so there's actually no reason to have that um so yeah these just come out and I'm not this isn't my proudest moment this amp is actually just screwed straight into the floor if I look underneath the cart, there's actually probably rust where it's screwed, which is bad because this car is actually really rust free. Maybe not. There's rust on that head there. But there's no rust down there where the where it would be going through the floor. We'll try to get it back in the same holes because I don't want multiple. Oh yeah, it's pretty easy to see where the holes are. You can actually see under it, it's quite clean. When I bought this car, it was pretty well detailed. And this pretty much went straight in as soon as I got it. Alright, so now we've pulled this thing apart. I wouldn't suggest using a drill. Um, don't copy me. <laughs> Basically, I used this drill day in day out so I'm pretty confident at using it at low speeds if you're not super familiar with the drill make sure you use a screwdriver all right so now keeping in mind this amp is over 10 years old so I'm actually really happy with the um, how long it's lasted Alright, so this escalated so quickly. Basically, the the board was stuck to the frame and there's all thermal paste behind these diodes. So 
I'm going to have to get thermal paste to put this back together. But fingers crossed that's all we need. Don't know what that is. I need to get this plug out now. Huh? I was trying just before and it wouldn't come out. I got it. Um, thre fresh thermal paste on all this Pro probably won't do any harm anyway. Alright, so the good news is I think I found it. The bad news is, it's not on that board. We didn't need to take that out. But, I don't know. The camera's not gonna focus on it. Can you see me moving that bit of board there? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's annoying but good that I found it. All right, so now, I'm just gonna try to touch this up with solder. So I'm just trying to melt the um, coating off it a little bit as well. I scraped it with a knife, I'm not sure if I showed that. Sorry if I'm not talking much guys, I'm trying to concentrate. Ring is not my strongest suit. I should really be using like flux core and um, a heat sink, but I don't have it so. That's stiff now, that's not moving. Alright, guys, so we're just heading down to the computer shop um, and uh, I don't know if this is illegal drive down the street with no passenger seat. Also, I'm keeping an eye on that wire because it's still live. Um, don't do as I do. If you work on your amplifiers, make sure you disconnect them from the battery. Um, I, I, I was just thinking about that as I was saying it and realized that it's a bad idea. All right, so I've got these little plastic cards that came out. And I'm guessing they're to stop the um, diodes or whatever they're called from grounding. So I'm just like getting the the heat. What do you call it? Thermal paste on both sides of these bits of plastic, and then sticking the clamp down. I was a bit nervous about doing this, but it's actually pretty easy. I was worried I wouldn't be able to get these clips back in, but I've got a bit of a technique. I did a couple off camera before I turned the camera on. So then this clip goes over. Um, and I just push one corner down with the back of the screwdriver and then just push it in the middle and it clips down and I can see the paste oozing out both sides. I'm also keeping an eye on the number to make sure I don't run out. Um, we've only used 0.2, uh, 0 0.2 mils. And we've done one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got plenty. Um, so we'll just keep going. I'll probably stop filming, guys. There's no point in filming this. All right, so now it's just reassembly. And um, fingers crossed, I pulled it off.
All right, and we're almost back together. All right, so it's back together, guys. It's a moment of truth. Is it actually going to work? I really hope so. I really love this amp. All right, guys, so we're all wired back up. Um, don't judge my little remote cable. It's so crazy. <laughs> this car's got a Rockford Fosgate wiring kit in it. Look at the speaker cable. It's like a $400 wiring kit, and somehow, I don't know if I lost the remote cable from the kit, but um, it's got the, I've put the dickiest little cable in there. I guess as long as it turns on, it doesn't matter. Um, if it ever didn't turn on, but that would be the first thing I'd be checking. All right, I'm actually so nervous, guys. I'm way out of my comfort zone here, but I really hope if there is somebody that I've helped fix an amp, like that's my main goal here. To try to help somebody um i don't know what i'm going to do here i'm going to get copyrighted oh phew, i had a heart attack i've got the wrong filter on guys it's got the low pass filter and we need the high pass filter get away from the music then if that's the case because we are recycling artists over and over. Well, it's a, it's a funny thing, the idea of like All recycling right. artists. One's working. And it's really good. There's no music on, so, so it's a good time. Oh my God, guys. All right, so the real test is... You know, they will make my money back for me. Mm. Um, smaller events, you see, uh, around the country struggle. All right, there's sound coming out of this one. Oh my god, did we do it? Oh. Oh my god. So this is when it would cut out when it was this low. Um, I fixed it. Can you believe it? Like, I had my, I had some pretty big doubts there. I'm gonna wrap this video up there, guys. I think we can say that was a successful task. Sorry to all the fish people that the video was not fish related. Um, I'm trying to keep the channel a bit versatile. Maybe we'll get a few more subscriptions if I do some different stuff. Um, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, please hit that red button. It really helps me out. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.